This is Zagreb, capital of Croatia, that for three years in a row hosted the best Christmas market in Europe. Zagreb also came in at number three on the list of top 50 best Christmas markets in the world. Hi guys, my name is Rock and I spent last 10 years traveling around Europe as a tour guide and I can't wait to show you the Christmas market in Zagreb, Croatia. Christmas market known as Advent in Zagreb begins on the last weekend of November and ends on the first weekend of January. It takes place in various streets and squares throughout the city and I'm starting on the main square. This is the heart of Zagreb and one of the main venues with a stage and a big Christmas tree. Here are little huts selling Christmas souvenirs, mold wine and food. Among Christmas decoration are oversized traditional toys once manufactured in Zagreb. Toy making is still alive in Zagreb as local craftsmen still produce authentic and unique toys which can be a perfect Christmas gift for children. This square is also the main transport hub as almost all blue painted trams, the most important means of public transport, stop right here. Most surrounding buildings date to the 19th century and in the middle stands a statue of a national hero on horse, Ban Jelacic, after whom the square got its name. Here is also a simple fountain decorated as an advent worth. The fountain was built above the natural spring that was a source of drinking water for centuries and it holds an amazing legend. The legend is about a girl who stood at this spring when a Croatian war leader was returning from a battle on a tired horse. The horseman asked the girl about her name. She told him her name was Manda. The horseman said to the girl, Mando dušo zagrabi mi vode, meaning Manda honey, please scoop me some water. When the worn-out rider and his horse quenched thirst, the girl said, whoever drinks the water from this well will always stay close by. There's nothing I'd like to do more than that, said the knight. And so the knight settled here and soon enough he wedded beautiful Manda. Happy couple retold the story of their first encounter many times. To recall the way the knight approached the girl with the words Mando Dusha, people named the well Mandushevac and the area around the well became known as Zagreb or to scoop. Over time Zagreb changed to Zagreb and that's how Croatian capital got its name. Between the main square and the main train station are three large squares. First one is actually a park called Zrinjevac. This park is a true Christmas fairy tale surrounded by beautiful historical buildings and trees shining with a wide glow of thousands of lights. Right in the middle stands a beautiful music pavilion from 1891, a gift to the city from a wealthy trader. Christmas music from live performances take over the entire park and makes it one of the most romantic Christmas venues in the city. Right in front of the central train station is the biggest square in Zagreb, often mistaken by a park. For Advent in Zagreb, here is usually an open-air ice skating park. Unfortunately, for well-known reasons like a global pandemic and last year's earthquake, this year's Advent in Zagreb is less spectacular and has less venues. As you can see, here are only silhouettes of ice skaters along with other decorations, art installations and oversized toys. The square features a statue of King Tomislav, the first Croatian king from 900s after whom the square is named. King Tomislav successfully defended the continental part of Croatia from Hungarian attacks and for the first time united all Croatian lands into one country. Here are also a fountain and art pavilion known as the oldest purpose-built gallery in Southeast Europe. Right next to King Tomislav Square is an Art Deco hotel from the early 1900s with a terrace that hosts one of the most popular gastronomic events of Zagreb Christmas market. It is called Fuliranje or Fooling Around and it offers top street food experience with an extensive music program. 12 different restaurants with famous Croatian chefs are showing off their street food skills along with great music atmosphere. 
Among burgers, sausages and other modern creations, you can also find traditional tasty treats called strukli or cheese dumplings. The most important ingredient of this vegetarian food is fresh cottage cheese mixed with sour cream, salt and pepper. The filling is spread onto very thin dough and rolled and can be either boiled or baked. This is a great venue for food, drinks and socializing where you can capture a Christmas spirit in different photo booths. Almost every venue has little huts serving mulled wine and food with long queues in front of it. The most common food in these huts are different types of sausages and fritole, soft and airy, deep-fried round balls resembling little donuts. Fritule is a festive pastry made particularly for Christmas and is usually flavored with rum and can be topped with powdered sugar or Nutella. The religious aspect of Christmas is the strongest on Kaptol Hill from where Zagreb Cathedral dominates the city. This monumental Roman Catholic building from the 13th century is the main church in Croatia. It was severely damaged by an earthquake in 1880 and rebuilt in neo-gothic style with impressive twin spires. Unfortunately, since the last earthquake from a year ago, the cathedral is temporarily closed, but in front of the church, the community Cenacolo organizes a live Christmas nativity scene. This community helps people suffering from addiction to change their lives and for more than 20 years, these people have been sending a beautiful Christmas message of hope, light and new life. The upper town known as Gradec is one of the most magical places of the Christmas market. To add even more charm, here they still use gas street lamps instead of electrical ones and every evening lamps are still handlit. To get from the lower town to the upper town, you can either walk or take a ride with the world's shortest funicular. This landmark of Zagreb is the oldest means of public transport built in 1890 and runs every 10 minutes while the ride lasts just over 60 seconds. Lower Town Station is just a short stroll from the main square and the Upper Town Station is right under the beautiful Lotroščak Tower. As the Upper Town used to be surrounded by the city walls, this tower was built to guard its southern gate. The tower got its name after the bell that rang every evening before the town gates were closed. Later, the tower was converted to a prison and now they house a small gallery and an art shop. Top of the tower offers gorgeous view of the city and it also houses a cannon that fires every day exactly at noon. The legend goes that Ottomans completely surrounded Zagreb and were preparing for a final attack. At exactly noon, a cannonball was shot from this tower and it flew straight into Ottoman camp and landed on a platter carried out to Pasha for his lunch. The Pasha got scared of Zagreb's cannon snipers and decided not to attack and the city was saved. The first popular Christmas venue in the upper town, right under the tower, is Strossmeyer Promenade, called simply Stross. It offers beautiful views and has dazzling array of lights and a row of little huts serving holiday-themed drinks. From the walls, lit by hundreds of lights, hangs a small and funny open-air museum of unwanted gifts, a reminder that Zagreb has more museums per capita than any other city in the world and some of them are very different and unusual. Right above Stross is absolutely magically decorated Bela the Fourth Park. Here you can sit on a moon which has landed in the middle of hundreds of glowing flowers and cascades of golden lights hanging from the trees. King Bela the Fourth was a Hungarian king when in the 1200s Zagreb was part of the Hungarian kingdom. King Bela gave Gradec free royal city rights and use it as a hiding place after escaping Budapest due to Mongol invasion. But probably the most magical venue is Gradec Plateau as it is covered with hundreds of beautifully decorated Christmas trees. In the Christmas forest are special photo points and even a popular old Zastava 750, a car which motorized the former Yugoslavia. A path between hundreds of Christmas trees will take you to the courtyard of a former 18th century Jesuit monastery which now hosts an art gallery. 
This courtyard is another wonderful place for a drink with music. Zagreb Christmas Market offers even more venues worth visiting. To see all venues, an extensive cultural program with concerts, theater plays, exhibitions, workshops and children programs, check out official Zagreb Christmas Market website in the link below the video. As Zagreb offers so many wonderful sights and experiences, I've also made a list of my favorite Zagreb activities and tours available in the description below. If you want to learn more about Croatian capital, you can also check my other Zagreb videos in the top right corner. And don't forget to smash the like button, click on subscribe and turn on notification bell to be notified about my new travel videos. Thanks for watching, I wish you all a Merry Christmas, Sretan Božić and see you next time.